For our Tantra practice, we will be practicing 10 asanas for root chakra. Please meet me in Sukhasana. You may sit on a blanket or pillow as it is comfortable. Cross your legs, open your knees wide, draw your outer hips down, press your sits bones into the earth, stack your shoulders over your hips, and lengthen your spine. Hands may be in chin mudra with index and thumb finger connected, resting on your knees. Take a moment to clear your mind of any thoughts of the day, creating space for yourself for this practice. Take a deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your nose. Inhale slowly and exhale slowly, feeling yourself grounded on the mat. During practice, we will use ujjayi breath constricting the back of the throat so your breath sounds like an ocean wave. We will move through poses one through nine twice and then end with our peak pose. In Tantra Yoga, we use Mula Bandha, which is a slight contraction of the root chakra, like you are gently engaging your low abdominals. You may use this during practice if you choose. Let's start with a few rounds of Samavriti, square breathing. Inhale for four counts. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold the breath on the outside. One, two, three, four. Inhale. One, two, Three, four, hold. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. Now do one more round on your own. Come forward onto all fours, then lower into Balasana, child's pose. Open your knees wide, bring your big toes to touch, bend your knees and bring your hips towards your heels. Lengthen your spine, reach your arms forward, spread your fingers and place your forehead on the mat. You may take claw hands and raise your palms off the mat to stretch your wrists and under the shoulders. Breathe here for five rounds of breath. With each, with each inhale and exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, then come through all fours. Tuck the toes and straighten the knees so there is just a small bend. Send your hips back and up for Adho Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. Engage your abdominals and pull your front ribs in. Place your hands shoulder width distance and spread your fingers wide. Press your thumb and forefinger into the mat and keep your neck neutral gazing back. You may gently lift one heel, then the other, but then find stillness and take deep breaths in and out of the nostrils five times. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and look to the front of the mat. 
Baby step your feet to meet your hands for Uttanasana, forward fold. Surrender over straight legs and draw your tailbone up. Draw your shoulders away from your ears and relax the neck. Inhale, then exhale and sink a little deeper, allowing the hamstrings to gently open. Breathe here for a few more rounds. Inhale and roll up one vertebrae at a time for Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale and lift your arms up to the sky and open the palms wide to the front. Bring your big toes to touch, press the corners of your feet down, engage your legs, engage your abdominals, draw your tailbone down, lift your chest up, draw your shoulder blades together and down your back Lengthen your neck. Breathe in and breathe out for five rounds. Inhale and exhale. Surrender forward. Place your hands on the mat and step back into downward dog. Lift the right leg off the mat, then bend the knee into your chest and bring the right knee to the right wrist. Square the hips and lower into Eka Pada Raha Kapratasana, half pigeon pose. Work your shin forward and flex the right foot. Extend the left leg straight back. Option to put a block under the hips for support. Then surrender over the right leg, bringing your forehead to the mat. Breathe into the tight spots. You will hold for five rounds. Inhale, then gently sweep your left leg over your right, stacking your ankle over the knee for half lotus or fire log. If it is comfortable, surrender over your legs. Breathe here for five. Inhale, place your hands on the mat, sweep your right leg straight back for Ekapada Raha Kapatasana on the other side. Work your left shin forward and flex the foot. Option to use the block as you did on the other side. Surrender over your left leg and reach your palms to the front of the mat. Place your forehead on the mat if possible. Slowly press back up. <clears throat> Sweep your right leg over your left, stacking your ankle over your knee for half lotus on the other side. If it's comfortable, surrender over your legs. Breathe here. Inhale, uncross your legs and press up into Malasana, low squat. 
You may use a block under your bottom as needed to support this posture. Bring your hips low and point your feet out slightly, a little further than hip distance. Bring your heels to the mat. Use your elbows to press against the inside of your knees with hands in prayer position. Inhale and exhale. Pull your belly into your spine and breathe here for five rounds. To come out of this posture, release the arms and gently bring your legs to the front. You may windshield wiper them if that feels good. Slowly roll all the way to the back. Lift your legs up to a 90 degree angle, preparing for Salamba Sarvangasana, supported candle pose. Lift your hips off the floor, rolling onto your shoulders. Keep the neck straight gazing at the ceiling. Bend your elbows and use your hands to prop up your hips, keeping your legs straight. Point the toes at the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out for five rounds. Slowly release one vertebrae at a time. Sit up tall and bring your legs to the front. Bend your right knee and pull your heel in. Sit up tall for Jhana Sursasana, head to knee pose. Option to put a rolled blanket or pillow underneath the straight leg. Pull your abdominals in. Pull the flesh of the hips to the back. Inhale, then exhale, surrender over the straight leg. Breathe for five rounds. Breathe into the tight spots. Inhale and exhale and release. Now bend your left knee and pull your heel in. Sit up tall, pull the abdominals in, and bring the flesh of your hips to the back with the right leg straight. Inhale, then exhale, surrender over the straight leg. Breathe. Set up this side as you did the other. And release. Now we will move through each pose one more time but hold for only three counts. Come forward onto all fours. Then lower into Balasana, child's pose. Open your knees wide, bring your hips towards your heels, lengthen your spine and reach your arms forward. Breathe here for three rounds of breath. Inhale, then come through all fours, tuck the toes and straighten the knees. Send your hips back and up for Adho Mukha Savasana, downward facing dog. Engage your abdominals, spread your fingers wide and find stillness. Take three breaths. Inhale and look to the front of the mat. Baby step your feet up to meet your hands for Uttanasana, forward fold. Surrender over straight legs and draw your tailbone up. Relax the neck. 
Inhale, then exhale and sink a little deeper, allowing the hamstrings to open. Breathe here for three rounds. Inhale and roll up one vertebrae at a time for Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale and lift your arms up and then open your palms wide to the front next to your hips. Press the corners of your feet down. Engage your legs. Lift your chest up. Breathe here for three rounds. Inhale and exhale, surrender forward. Place your hands on the mat and step back into downward dog. Lift the right leg off the mat, bend the knee and sweep it forward for Ekapada Rakapatasana, half pigeon. Work your shin forward and flex the right foot. Surrender over the right leg, bringing your forehead to the mat. Breathe. Inhale, then gently sweep your left leg over your right, stacking your ankle for over your knee for half lotus, fire log. Surrender over your legs. Breathe here for three rounds. Inhale, place your hands on your mat. Sweep your right leg straight back for Ekapada Raha Kapatasana on the other side. Work your left shin forward and flex the foot. Surrender over your left leg and reach your palms forward. Slowly press back up. Sweep your right leg over your left, stacking your ankle over your knee for half lotus. Surrender over your legs and breathe. Inhale, uncross your legs and press up into Malasana. Use a block if you need it underneath your seat. Bring your hips low and put your feet out. Use elbows to press against inside of your knees and hands in prayer position. Inhale and exhale. Release your arms and bring your legs to the front. You may windshield wiper them, then slowly roll all the way back onto your back. You lift your legs to a 90 degree angle, prepare for Salamba Sarvangasana. Lift your hips off the floor, supporting your hips with the hands. Keep your legs straight, toes pointed to the ceiling. Breathe in and breathe out for three rounds. Slowly release one vertebrae at a time. Sit up tall and bring your legs to the front. Bend your right knee and pull your heel in. For Jano Sirsasana, head to knee pose. Pull your abdominals in and pull the flesh of your hips to the back. Then surrender over the straight leg and breathe for three rounds. and release. Now bend your left knee and straighten your right. Sit up tall, pull in the abdominals. Surrender over the straight leg. Breathe. And release. Now for our peak pose, 
we will move into full lotus Padmasana. Be very gentle on your knees. You may start with your favorite side, then move into your non-dominant side. Try each one for five counts. Sit up tall, lengthen the spine, stack your shoulders over your hips. Lift your right ankle over the left thigh and the left ankle over the right thigh. Hands may be in chin mudra with index and thumb finger connected, resting on your knees. Take five deep breaths. Option to try the pose on the opposite side. Hold for five rounds. Now close your eyes and imagine a red light at the base of your spine. Take three deep inhales and exhales and move the light through the shushumna or spinal channel all the way up to your third eye center. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. We will do three ohms to end practice. Oh. 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 Bring your hands to the third eye and bow forward. The light within me sees the light within each of you. Namaste. Please subscribe to my channel for more Tantra and Tarot. Have a blessed and beautiful day.